according, according, not according to your own power, not according to the things you can do, not according to your capacity or your capability, but according to his power. According, thank you, Father. According to his power that is working within you. So the power of God has to work within you. Amen. For him to be able to accomplish what he says he's going to accomplish. Glory to God. Now you... Allowing his power within you, you know, makes it a lot easier for him to accomplish what he says he's going to accomplish. Glory to God. God is able. So we rely solely on the ability of God to do what he says he will do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because if he has said it, let me tell you the truth. He has done it. Now, whatever he's not going to do, he will not say it. That is the truth. So if God is saying, if the Bible is saying God is able to do exceeding, it means that God has the capacity to exceed your expectation. Amen. He has the capacity to exceed what you can ever think or imagine. Amen. He, he has the capacity to exceed your mental capacity or capability amen you have the capacity to blow your mind blowing your mind means you are expecting one god gives you 10 you are expecting 10 god gives you a hundred or a thousand a million you are expecting a hundred thousand god blows your mind gives you a, a million we are expecting a million he blows your mind and give you 10 or more Okay, now the truth is it. The issue is not in the capacity of God to do what he says he will do. It is in your capacity to believe that he can do what he says he will do. And so, as long as you believe, my friend, that he can do it. Hear me? He will do it. And that's the truth about it. No matter what it is, believe that he can do it. The Bible says, Blessed is she that believe him, because there shall be a performance performance of what was told out of the Lord. And everyone that came to Jesus, Jesus, we asked them, Believe that, that I can do this. They say, Yes, I believe, help thou my unbelief. So you have to believe in the ability of God, not in your expertise. You see, that's where we have problem. That's where we have problem, you know, connecting to the provisions of God. We use our mind. We want to work it out with our effort. We want to use human sense to get the blessings of God. Your human sense cannot bring you into the blessing of God. It has never happened before. It cannot happen. Until and unless we begin to rely on the ability of God, God cannot help us. Amen. Even though God has the capacity and the capability to blow your mind, you have to believe in his ability. Believest thou that I can do this for you? I believe. Help thou my own belief. Do you believe that God can move you from point A to point B? That is beyond your imagination. That is beyond your capacity. You believe, then he's able to move you from that point. God can even help you take a giant leap from point A or point 1 to point 10 if you believe. God can raise you from the donkey right now to make you sit among princes if you believe in his ability. May I say to you this morning, Everything that you need, God is not going to bring them from heaven. He's not going to create them now. He has created everything. Everything you are going to need for life and for godliness, God has provided them everything. Everything. No matter what it is. Is it a child, a job, promotion, salvation? What is it? A house, a car, whatever it is. Healing, whatever it is. By the way, talking about healing, the Bible says in Psalm 107 verse 20, he said, he sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Are you hearing me? And so, when God's word is sent, 
The first thing he does is to heal you. He could heal you of unbelief. Yes. Unbelief is a sickness. Yes. Unbelief is a sickness. God will heal you. As I'm talking right now, God will heal you from unbelief. You know, some people, Christians, born again children of God, there are some things they don't believe God can do for them. They believe they have to labor, they have to suffer, they have to use drug for them to be healed. Is it wrong to use drug? No. But I would rather believe God than to put myself into the agony of taking drug, having to rely on drug to, to, to live. So, God can heal you of, from unbelief. He can deliver you from unbelief. He can deliver you from mental slavery that you have enslaved yourself to a condition of life or to the system of life or to the system of this world. Are you still there? So, he said, God is able unto him that is able to do exceeding abundance abundantly through above all that we can ask or think according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus according to his riches in glory who is able to you know I'm connecting two scriptures together according to his power that works in us according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus quoting Ephesians sorry Philippians chapter 4 and 19 you know, when you join these two scriptures together, you know that number one, it is through his ability. Number two, it is according to the riches of Christ, not according to your effort. Amen. Now, listen, my friend, if you are still waiting on your effort, ability, or your riches to get things done, listen to me. You will wait till thy kingdom come. Amen. Let me read that verse. Now to him, Ephesians 3 verse 20 from the Amplified Bible. Now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us is able to carry out his promise and do super, thank you Father, thank you Father, and do super abundantly. Far above, far over and above all that we dare ask or think infinitely beyond our biggest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. Are you still there? Mm -hmm. Is able to do according to the action of power, an action of his power, he is able to carry out his purpose, carry out that miracle, carry out that blessing, carry out that health, carry out that healing, carry out that prosperity, carry out that promotion, carry out, I don't know what you desire from God, carry out that lifting, carry out that, um, I don't know, a lot of needs. He is able to carry them out super abundantly. Not just abundantly, super abundantly. And let me tell you this, these things will come supernaturally. If it will take God to suspend nature, to bring it to pass, he will. It happened to the children of Israel. Joshua led them to war and the night was going to happen to them. And if the night happened, they might lose the war. What did Joshua say? Joshua spoke to the sun. Son, st stand thou still on the hill of Aijalon. The Bible says the sun stood still. A according to what people say, uh, it says that that singular event um, adjusted the movement of the earth or something like that by 24 hours. I mean, it set the world back, the earth back by 24 hours. If that is true, I don't know or not. It's not my business. But my business is this. A man commanded the sun that the purpose of God might be fulfilled. If God can allow, permit the suspension of the sun, the movement of the earth, because he wanted his people to win the war, how much more you, that you now have Jesus in your life. Now, talking about Abraham, my friend, no matter if you are not a child of God, he cannot help you. He cannot. That is the gospel truth. 
He says, according to the power that works within us. It means that the thank you, Father. The thank you, Father. The power has to work within you. And the power of God cannot work within you unless and until you belong to Him, unless you are His own. So let's settle that question first and foremost. Are you a child of God? Are you born again? Have you met Jesus? If you have not, let's settle that right now. My friend, let's settle that right now. Are you a child of God? Are you born again? If you have not met Jesus, if you have not been born again, I can help you do that right now. It doesn't take rocket science. It is no big deal. You just say, Father, I am sorry. Don't say it like that. Father, I am sorry. Forgive me my sin. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Remove me from the kingdom of darkness and put me in the kingdom of light, the kingdom of your dear son. Write my name in the book of life. Cancel my name from the book of death. Lord, I am so sorry. And I return to you. Acknowledge that I'm a sinner. And now today, I surrender all to you. Come be my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name. My friend, if you have said that prayer, like that, you are now a child of God. You don't need to do any ablution, or any washing, any circumcision to become a child of God. Now you are a child of God. Now you will receive the Holy Spirit. Now the power of God begins to walk with it. I pray the Holy Ghost upon you. Even as you have received Jesus Christ, I pray the Holy Ghost will envelope you. We enter up into you. We give you new life. Remove the old garment. I give you a new garment. And I pray that the power of God begin to walk within you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been settled that. Now the power of God can begin to walk in you. Then the ability of God will begin to walk with you. Walk for you. He says God is able. Is able. Able is able. He has the capacity. He has the capability to do what he says he is going to do. Are you still there, my friend? So, it starts with belief that he has the ability. But listen, let me say it again like I said when I started. God is able to blow your mind. And he will blow your mind this week as you go to your legitimate businesses, as you go to your job, whatever God has committed into your hand, whether you are in business or you are work with an organization, you are a civil servant, you are a pastor, you are a minister, whatever you do, God will blow your mind this week as you go in the name of Jesus. Let me try to read from another translation let me see how the message bible will render that scripture praise god let's see ephesians 3 now look at it god can do anything i like that you know Far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it by pushing us around by but he does it not by pushing us around, but by walking within us. He spirit deeply and gently within us. So he doesn't do it by pushing us around and, and, and until we measure up to this standard before. Look, if God waits for us to measure up, he's not gonna do anything for us or with us. God does this thing for us because as we move on, as we move on, as we grow, as we become mature gradually, because if God waits for us to be perfect before he begins to do things for us, he won't do anything. He told Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. I mean, consistently, be consistent, be, be sincere with me. Just walk as I take you, be perfect. As you are going, be being perfect, be move on and being better than what you were yesterday. Amen. So God is going to blow your mind. I don't know what you are trusting God for. I'm going to start praying for you in a bit. But listen, let us settle this. God has the capacity and the capability to blow your mind. God will blow your mind today. In the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. God will blow your mind. I'm so, so sure of that, that God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, He will blow your mind in the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. Now, what are you trusting God for? Now, I'm not going to be the one to do it. I cannot do anything. But I can help you connect to Jesus who has the ability to do these things that we are talking about. Amen. He can do it. He will do it. He has done it before. He will do it again and again and again and again. I'd like you to open your mouth by yourself and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, blow my mind this week. All me this week. Open your mouth. Come on, pray. Father, blow my mind concerning that which I have been trusting you for. Father, in the name of Jesus, blow my mind. Masita broto ida tabaha. Masikitiri anda broto ida pahanda broto sita gaba. Father, in the name of Jesus, blow my mind. Blow my mind this week. Blow my mind in the name of Jesus. Blow my mind. This week, as I go, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, blow my mind on that job. Blow my mind in the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. Blow my mind, Brother Ida Pahanda Tabrodo Sita Baha, Masheki Peri Anda Purida Sita, Brother Ida Tabaha, Masiki Kiki Kiki Kibroto Suta Gaba Baba, Masiki Brother Sita Ga, Brother Ida Pahanda Ta, Masheki. Father, in the name of Jesus, blow our mind as we go today. In the name of Jesus, blow our mind, O oh God. Do exceeding abundantly more than we can ever think or imagine according to the power that works within us. In the name of Jesus, brother, Ida Pahanda, Brudu Ida Paha, brother, Ida Brundu Suta Baha, brother, Ida Tama Zegi Deri Anda, Brudu Ida, Prada Sita Gabaha, Ma Seki Teri Anda, Father, blow my mind. Father, concerning that need, Father, blow my mind. Concerning that need, Father, blow my mind, blow my mind. Mind, blow my mind, blow my mind. I mean, exceed my expectation, exceed my expectation, exceed my expectation in the name of Jesus Christ, exceed my expectation, Holy Father. I According to your power that works within me, according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus, Father, blow my mind, exceed my mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, my friend. God will blow your mind because he has the capacity and the capability to blow your mind. And he's going to blow it. He's blowing it right now. That means he's exceeding your expectation. I'm not saying God will put a bomb in your head and blow your head off him, man. I mean, God is going to exceed your capacity, exceed your capability. Let me say to you, my friend, this morning, whatever you are expecting, if you are expecting one, God will give you ten. Come on, say amen. If you are expecting two, God will give you five, ten. Listen, it has happened to me before. Now, it's the time I was trusting God for I think 2,500 US dollars. Yes, I was trusting God for the money. Oh God, we need, we had a building project at that time and we needed money to continue. Not that the money could finish the project. I, I actually thought that the money would finish the project, but I, I just wanted to just move the project from one level to another level. And I began to pray, Lord, I thank you for 2,500. I don't, can't remember the figure. I think it was $2,500. I think, and I'm sure it's 2,000 something. And I began to say, Father, I called for 2,000. 500 US dollar, whatever that money is, I call it for now, calling those things which be not as though they were. I began to call it for, I began to call it for. About two weeks later, God blew my mind. I didn't get 2,000 or 2,500 dollars. I got 5,000 US dollars. That is the truth. When I got that money, I was going to run crazy. 
Yes, my wife was on a journey and she was coming back into Abuja that day. And I, you know, I was, you know, supposed to go pick out. So I, I, after I got the money, I shouted in the car. I shouted as if somebody who was going crazy. I picked up my phone. I called her. Where are you? Said I'm on my way. I'm almost close to this place. I said, Can you believe what is happening? I am running crazy. My wife said, hey, Hold on. Where are you? Said I'm in a car. Are you at home? So that I could call somebody to help me. <laughs> Maybe chain you down before I come. Said no. It's not that kind of madness. Listen, I just, I was, just, I'm just being gifted five thousand US dollars. She shouted. I drove to where she was. I'm sure I drove up to 1.40 that night to run to meet my wife where she was. That changed our lives forever at that time. That's the truth. So God, I just share that testimony to let you know that God can blow your mind. He can exceed your expectation. Glory to God. And this week, today, listen, somebody is watching me right now. Before 12 noon, God will have blown your mind. I'm saying that prophetically. Before 12 noon today, God will blow your mind. Listen, if you believe that, type amen in the comment sec section. And I'd like to ask you to do this for me as I'm talking. Help us share the link to this video. Yes, share it on your timeline, share it on your all your social media handles and platforms so that people can be blessed by this broadcast. It will go a long way to encourage us. Don't only share the link comment like share and if you are not following me on facebook or on youtube do so right now the the, the, the what is it called now it's just somewhere uh, below the screen there just press um, the follow me you know like and all of that comment and share Call your family friend. Call them that is a broadcast call online called Apostolic Great Broadcast Live. It is a transforming broadcast. Amen. We share God's word. We pray. And we see miracles. You will see miracles in your lives today. In the name of you, we come back with miracles. Yes, God will blow your mind. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, He will blow your mind as you go. He has done it for me before. That is one of the several encounters that I have I've had. I've had... Maybe I should even share that with you. You know, I love to share the testimonies of what God had done far before. The one he's doing now, I'll share them many, many months later, many years later. And that time, you know, I was cash crunched. That year, between April and August, Lord have mercy, getting 500 naira was a challenge. That is the gospel truth. Why? Because I made a very bad business judgment and I lost money. Lost a lot of money at that time. I came crashing down. I couldn't even... I couldn't even fold the car. Going to church was a big challenge. And I cried to the Lord. I, oh Lord, I cried to the Lord the month of August of that year. I cried to the Lord, cried to the Lord. I began to speak to God. Mercy, Lord. I know I, I went out of line and all of that. Guess what? God showed up. God showed up. God showed up. Can I tell you what he gave me? The truth to God. God gave me 15,000 US dollars. Let me tell you how much I lost in that business. 250,000 naira. I don't know how much that is in dollars now. But after crying to God, God gifted me 15,000 US dollars. That's a couple of years back. And he has done so many more after that. I am telling you to believe in the ability of God. I don't know what you are trusting God for. Let me close with a personal testimony. I was not meant to have a wife by the design of the enemy. That's number one. Number two, I was not even meant to have children. I mean, somebody placed a course. Are you are not going to have a child. I did not believe the course. Hmm. I prayed it away. Well, guess what? God has blessed me with a beautiful wife, a very, very good woman at that. And she supported me for 20 years. And we have four beautiful children. Two boys, two girls. First, I was not supposed to marry. I, I had, um, what do you call it? You know, women will come, just go like that. They will come, just go like that. 
I can't really pick what the problem was until I began to deal with the issue. When we go, my, I couldn't even tell my wife that somebody has said I won't get, I won't have children until my wife was pregnant. Yeah, praise God. That's what God can do. Have there somebody say you will not get mine? Let me cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I cancel that that satanic pronouncement or proclamation. You see, you have to stop believing the lie of the enemy and start believing God and his ability. Have, have, have you been told that you can never have a child? Maybe the doctors have told you you can't have a child. Maybe doctors can maybe somebody has placed a curse on your life that you cannot have children. Let me speak as an oracle of God. I have a commandment to bless. Listen, I decree that curse is redeemed by the blood of Jesus. I have had that curse on your behalf. I decree today you will have children. You not only a child, you have your own children. You will have children. God will give you children, good children, excellent children, beautiful children in the name of Jesus Christ. And maybe you are pregnant right now. You are pregnant and the doctors have said you can't bring the pregnancy to times. Let me share another personal testimony. Two of them. Our first child, you know, my wife followed somebody to uh, Antinata, not because she was going there for Antinatas. And she, you know, she used to see what they call show, you know, blood and all of that. And then she told the matron, Madam, I'm, I'm pregnant, but I'm seeing blood. The woman told her, point, like, your belly has spot. That's the way she said it. Your belly does spot. That means the pregnancy is, is, is uh, gone bad and it's going to be terminated. My wife gave it to her straight. My belly no spoil. My own pregnancy is not bad. I don't know how to say that in plain English. That child is in, is, in, is in his third year in the university as we speak. Number two, our second child was conceived. And I think, um, was it six months into the pregnancy or so? My wife went for scan and they told her she had cysts in her, in her, in her womb. And that if the cyst continue, it may kill the baby and all of that. I call that end of story. This baby will be born. It is what you believe, not what the, uh, the, the enemy tells you. The enemy can tell you anything. Doctors can tell you anything. But will you believe the report of the doctor or the report of God? We chose to believe. Now that child that day, by the way, I was ministering in church on a Sunday morning. My wife was bleeding in the toilet. Mm. I'm telling you, bleeding profusely. I have shared the testimony on this broadcast before. Maybe you should go scroll through the videos on this on my page and you will see the testimony there. That child now is preparing to go to university. That's true. One more. I have a lot. I don't know why I'm sharing. Our last boy, who is, who is going to be 11 in October, he was four or five months in, in, in the womb. And then my wife began to feel that the baby was going to come. How will a five month old baby come? And then we went to scan and they told us that the service is open, less one centimeter, any stress, anything, the baby will come. No, this baby is not going to come now. Babies don't come until nine months. Guess what we did? We seal up the place. Told him. And that's one thing we do. And I want to encourage you, if you are trusting God for a child, start naming the children before you even get pregnant or before you even marry. We name our children before they are conceived, before they are born. So we begin to call the name of the child. You are staying there until nine months. You are staying there until nine months. Until nine months come, you are not coming out. Guess what? That's exactly what happened. Be it unto you according to your faith. We could have believed the report of the doctors. Am I saying doctors are wrong? No. But I choose to believe the one who created the doctor, who created medicine. So whose report would you believe? And that's where I'm going to close from this morning. Whose report would you believe? Will you believe the report of man or the report of God? Whose report? I choose to believe the report of God. That is the truth. I choose. If you choose to believe the report of God, I like to pray for you. The Lord God will blow your mind as you go. The Lord God of heaven, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, He will exceed your expectation.
in the name of Jesus, he will exceed that which you are trusting for. He will exceed that which you are believing him for. He will exceed whatever it is that you are looking for, that you are trusting him for. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will exceed, exceed your financial expectations. He will exceed your, your material expectations. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will exceed your expectation. In the name that is above every name the name jesus god the father of our lord jesus christ he will exceed your expectation in the name that is above every name the name jesus the name jesus god will exceed your expectation in the name of jesus god we show up for you this week he will show up for you this week even right now as you go right now as you go in the name of Jesus Christ, listen to me, whatever it is, in that your business, God will exceed your expectation, in that job, God will exceed your expectation, whatever you are trusting him for this week, promotion, blessing, lifting, God will exceed your expectation, he will do super abundantly, far above you can ever think or imagine, according to his power that is working within you, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You will have the peace of God round about in Jesus. Now, before I finally sign out, let me encourage you to follow me on, on this Facebook channel uh, page and also on my youtube channel amen i have another you know broadcast on youtube and on facebook that's what i do every monday 5 30 in the morning uh, if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so right now don't only do that you know press that notification button so that you will know when i come up online glory to god help us share the links to this place praise the name of the Lord. And if you want to be a blessing to our ministry, maybe God is asking you to plant a seed and all of that, it will be greatly appreciated. Our ministry is a grace ministry. We don't charge anything from anybody. We don't, if not, let me say it, if God is not asking you to give us anything, please don't. If you send it, it will bless us and it will not bless you. But if you feel that I can do something for this ministry, why not? You know, let us know in the comment section or, or private, privately DM me. Because of the uh, platform I'm using this morning, I can't scroll the account details on, you know, on the screen. But but DM me and then we'll be able to speak. And we do a lot of things. We do empowerment. We do, uh, we, we, we take care of widows, of orphans. We pay school fees for, for indigent children. We do a whole lot. We, ch we plant churches. We do outreaches sometimes we 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 produce exercise books and our squeeze will be resuming very soon we are trusting god to be able to produce exercise book virals and all of that sometimes we give bags and also we do health missions you know we give some small small um drugs for people who need help in that area so if god is leading you to be a part of this why not let me know you know dm me and then we'll talk and be a blessing together Glory to God. I'm signing up now. My name is Emmanuel Adeyomoyi. I just want to be a blessing. I will see you again Monday, 5.30 in the morning. The Lord God will bless you. He will blow your mind. And by the way, if you have testimony, come on, share your testimony with us. And I will hear your testimony on this broadcast to bless lives and destinies. It is well with you. Have yourself a mind-blowing week. In Jesus' name.